Welcome back to Funds for NGOs series on how to start and build a successful NGO. In this episode, we'll discuss establishing your NGO's vision and mission and the important step of writing the Articles of Incorporation. Establishing the vision and mission for your NGO. Once your initial board members are finalized and you've discussed your preliminary ideas about the organization, it's time to establish your NGO's values, vision, and mission statements. These statements are crucial for the success of your organization as they explain to your stakeholders the organization's purpose in a concise manner. Vision Statement The vision statement describes a goal that an organization aspires to accomplish in the long run. In other words, it summarizes the changes and impact you aim to bring to the lives of the community you serve. When drafting the vision statement, keep the following points in mind. One, that use simple language that can be understood by all. Two, to make it appealing and inspiring to engage stakeholders. Three, that ensure it has a broad scope. Four, to write it in the present tense. Five, to keep it easy to remember. The best way to draft a vision statement is by understanding the community's perspective on their problems and desired changes. Here are examples of vision statements from international organizations. IUCN, a just world that values and conserves nature. WWF, a future in which people live in harmony with nature. CRY, a happy, healthy, and creative child whose rights are protected and honored in a society built on respect for dignity, justice, and equity. CARE, a world of hope, tolerance, and social justice, where poverty is overcome and people live in dignity and security. Greenpeace, an earth that is ecologically healthy and able to nurture life in all its diversity. Establishing a clear vision takes time and consultation. You may need to write and rewrite the statement multiple times to accurately reflect your organization's purpose. Mission Statement Now that you have a vision for your organization, you will need a plan to achieve it. This is where the mission statement comes into play. The mission statement describes the purpose of your organization, why it exists, and how it addresses the issues at hand. Make sure that the mission statement includes the following elements. 1. That simple and concise language. 2. That a clear definition of the problem. 3. That a description of how you intend to solve the problem. 4. Dot suggestions for the long-term changes your organization aims to bring about. 5. That IT should be comprehensive and inclusive of all relevant aspects. Here are examples of mission statements from international NGOs. IUCN, influence, encourage, and assist societies worldwide to conserve nature's integrity and diversity, ensuring equitable and sustainable use of natural resources. WWF, stop the degradation of the planet's environment and build a future where humans live in harmony with nature by conserving biological diversity and ensuring sustainable use of renewable resources. Greenpeace, the leading independent campaigning organization that uses peaceful protest and creative communication to expose global environmental issues and promote essential solutions for a green future. CARE, serve individuals and families in the poorest communities, promote innovative solutions and advocate for global responsibility through self-help, economic opportunities, emergency relief, policy influence and addressing discrimination. Writing the Articles of Incorporation, the Articles of Incorporation provide a legal description of your NGO, establishing its existence as per government rules. These articles define the purpose of your organization and outline operational processes and membership details. The number of articles required will largely depend on the laws of your country. While drafting these articles, check with government authorities about the necessary forms you need to fill. Depending on the complexity, you can either fill in the forms yourself or seek legal advice. What to include in the Articles of Incorporation? Most often, NGOs are required to provide the following information while filling in the form. Article 1. Name of the organization. Ensure you have discussed and finalized a few names for your organization. Article 2. Organization purpose. Describe the purpose of your organization and the reasons for establishing the NGO. Article 3. Address of the organization. Provide complete contact details of the organization, including the name of the person to whom correspondence should be addressed. Article 4. Board details. Mention the names and contact details of the board members. Article 5. Membership information. If you plan to have membership in your NGO, provide details of the membership process, fees, and qualifications. Article 6. Stock information. Some forms may require you to give details about the stocks your organization has. Article 7. Duration of existence. Specify the duration of your NGO's existence. Most NGOs are perpetual. Writing and filing the Articles of Incorporation is crucial for your organization's success. Consult with experts to understand the incorporation process and review country-specific guidelines before drafting the articles. After completing the form, discuss it with your board members for approval. Establishing your NGO's vision, mission, and legal foundation is essential. In our next episode, 
we'll cover developing the bylaws. Stay tuned.